Now we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, you got that? 2 Corinthians 5, 1. If the earthly tent we live in, this body, is destroyed, we've got a building from God. An eternal house in heaven not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling. Because when we're clothed, we'll not be found naked. For while we're in this tent, we groan and are burdened. Isn't that right? Isn't that the way we live? With all of our problems, we're groaning and we're burdened with all of our problems. Because we don't want to be unclothed, but we want to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Whatever good we've got here is going to be swallowed up by what's so much better we can't even imagine it. Now it is God who made us for this very purpose. See, God has the original line, you ain't seen nothing yet. He's the one with all the workshops, Danny, you've attended. And with all of the, with all the joy you've reached, the mountain peaks you may have had anywhere in the world says, I'm glad you're enjoying all of my blessings, but you ain't seen nothing yet. One of these days all this stuff is going to be swallowed up by life. Now it is God who made us for this very purpose and gave us the Spirit as a deposit. Guarantee it. He's the God of the guarantee. Guaranteeing what is to come. I go through life, don't you? Not sure about what's to come. Not even really thinking much about death except to dread it. And I'm a human like you are, and so I dread dying. But dying, if I could only see it like it really is, dying is the door. Where you pass from one nice room into a fantastic room. And the Holy Spirit of God has been given to us as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. Therefore, we're always confident and know that as long as we're at home in the body, we're away from the Lord. With all of our blessings, we know He's here with us like He promises. We can pray to Him, but we're really away in, in, in the real sense. We live by faith and not sight. We're confident. God wants us confident, folks. I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Don't you like that? I like that term. What does it mean to die and go over there? It's to go home with the Lord. So we make it our goal to please Him. Whether we're at home in the body or away from it, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive what is due him for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. I want to give you tonight three little points to look for in the coming of Jesus. I want to try, when we've talked philosophically and theologically about heaven, I want us to see in a way that everybody in this audience can grab hold of with your spiritual teeth and say, now I can understand that and I need that. See, because of our read you, Revelation 21, about gates of pearl and streets of gold. I'm happy about that, you understand? But I frankly confess to you, in the intimacy of this little family circle, I don't care whether those are mud roads in heaven. I want to get there. I don't care if I live in a chicken shack. I want to be there. So when we're talking about a mansion in heaven, I'm happy about that. And I'm thankful for the promise. But I just want to be there.